So I'm gonna use the 120 ceramic. We're gonna remove the sprue. It's a raw casting this gentleman just brought me, as you can see. It's a sprue, it's a raw casting. So I'll go ahead and run it at full speed. And I'm gonna grind this sprue down. Within seconds, it'll be down. And what's nice is you can see it. I can see as I'm approaching the shank, I can regroup. And there, I stop. You see that? You can see, like, even there's still some even remaining, but I don't have to worry about that because I'd rather have that. The next step, I'm going to go ahead and use the magic eraser. So you can maintain exact shank thickness, and I'm going to use the fine. You can use the medium as well, depending on if you have more, like, of a crisper edge. So right here, you're going to see... I'm going to work it and smooth that all out and already it's done. So already, so if there's any porosity, it would have been gone by now. You see that? So the camera, you see that? So now this is a raw casting. So from raw casting, I'll clean up the whole thing. And again, burnishing as we're going through, maintaining the exact degree. And if you want to change it up a little bit, you can. I'm gonna leave a little so you can see that it's a raw casting. You can go all the way down and it's lovely. Okay, so we can even do the sides too. So look at the sides. So there's a little dip right there. So if you don't wanna grind it flat, you can, you can hold it there and I'll work it all. Or you can kinda work it so that it blends it in. And there you go, beautiful. You see that? And there we go. And then now we'll do the other side. So right here, it's a little uneven. You can either hold it here, get it nice and even. And it blends that lump beautifully. Wonderful. Now. Now we are ready for a final high polish. So that was one step of, uh, what's it called? Of casting cleanup. So you wanna take a look at that? Just real quick, this is this gentleman's, this is live from the Germany show. So take a look at that. And I'm gonna use the felt polishing wheel to take it to a polish. So do you see that? Yes, so we didn't abuse the ring. We didn't take off ridiculous amounts of metal. So we didn't even bring up any porosity because you, you didn't, you know, it's been pounding the metal. So it's just, and this is the final polish. You can hit it with a buff at the end. But uh, just to see how quick of a shine you get. Like, look, ready? So this is the this is the uh, the finish before. Within one, look, one, two, three, and I'm already at a shine. In three seconds, you should get a polish. So it's really unnecessary to go crazy with the compounds when the finish is uh, the surface has already been prepped. Because that's what 3M teaches you that the surface should be prepared. The proper way to prepare a surface is not with compounds because you can't gauge how much material, how it's removing the material, you know, compounds work. You see that? And from here, I'm just going to continue going. I'm going to polish. And you get that really pretty flat polish. You can even go flatter right there beautiful and here too depending on what you want how you want it we're done right there you see that super pretty and so we go to the other side so the person working on the bench doesn't have to destroy it eat it up with so much emery paper Hold on, let me get in there you know it didn't go through an abusive process it didn't even go to an ultrasonic cleaner at this stage. With com because between compounds, you have to stop and clean them. Okay, so already we're polished. You know, and I could have done the whole side too. I didn't even think of that. 
you could have you get in there well to get in there yes to get in there I would use these brushes and we even have like even smaller three-quarter inch ones to get in but these are pretty good like look and these you can this is like a 220 grit but even the side could be totally polished perfectly flat you might get questions about the inside yes the inside you can do with our inside ring polishers by the way and let me just finish the polish on the outside as soon as I find my buff. You see a buff? No? The word? Sorry, people on YouTube watching this, but I don't know where my buff is. Probably on the other side? No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Did it fall Check to underneath the floor? some of the wheels. No, oh well, but I don't want to use one that has no color. This is for polymer How about the other clay. one that has compound? Oh, the, okay, so look, honestly, I'm not even putting compound on and I just want to show you the luster that you get. So we're not relying on compound right now to get the high polish. The high polish is there. So I'm just using it for added luster and to remove the fine lines from the felt. If anything my own hands are dirty with these uh, fingertips and that's pretty much it yes uh-huh so just real quick let me show you this and we're done see that okay so the camera Okay. So, okay, so now, all right, so let me stop that. So I, we're gonna, should we continue? No, we'll do another video of the inside of the prong. So part two, stay tuned. Um, this was done on the Jewel Tool Polishing System. If you like it, subscribe, comment below. I'll answer because I invented it. So be nice on your comments. Thanks for watching.